Uh, hello everybody and uh, welcome to uh, my brief reflection on what I said on Sunday at St Peter's Church and of course it was of course the festival of uh, St Peter our patronal uh, our patronal festival having uh, St Peter as your patron you could see as being quite a boon for any church because he was just so human and he had so many flaws uh, he got things wrong a lot of the time and he could be difficult uh, he came into conflict quite famously with St Paul at one time in the New Testament and of course famously he denied Christ at one time but despite all that he came good in the end after all it was St Peter who accurately proclaimed Jesus was the Messiah or the Christ that Israel had been waiting for. It was Peter who was the spokesman for the fledgling Christian community at Pentecost. It was Peter who walked on the water but when he let his gaze slip from Jesus and he started to sink he had to be rescued by Jesus by his strong arm and led safely into the boat and perhaps it is this last example that chimes with me most when thinking about the Raleigh mission community uh, in general and St Peter's Church in particular as St Peter's is of course named after him all the time Peter keeps his eyes fixed firmly on Jesus. He could walk on water, but he did become dis distracted and battered by what was described in the uh, King James Version of the Bible as a boisterous wind. And he took his eyes off Jesus. He became frightened and started to sink. It was then that Peter cried out to Jesus to save him and Jesus stretched out his arm and helped him into the boat. If we imagine ourselves, our community, as uh, St Peter who has, been, who has been battered by a boisterous wind, yes we may have had our faith you know, shifted to one side for a second, we've been knocked, battered, but we need to save ourselves and we need to cry out to Jesus to save us. To give our eyes fixed on him. And he'll stretch out his arm to lead us to safety. Seeking Jesus' help is the only way to steady ourselves and our church when we've been rocked. And as I said on, in church on Sunday, look around you at everyone sitting around you on your left, on your right in front of you and behind you. We are Christ's body on earth. So pray for the church, for our church, for our well-being and for our flourishing. Keep our eyes on Jesus and keep the people around you on your heart as you go up to the communion rail to, com to commune with Almighty God. Pray also to inspire and guide us by his spirit through the choppy waters and reveal to us the direction that we should go. A church that doesn't pray isn't much of a church and I'm sure we are a praying church. So through our spiritual prayers and physically communicating with God as our central act of worship every Sunday and at other times of course. They're both ways of cementing our relationship with him, keeping our eyes on him and just as importantly on each other. It's together as a united church that we, will, that we do express the will of God. United in Christ under the patronage and example of St Peter, we are able to present a, a united, happy 
and flourishing body of Christ to the world. Pray also for the ways and the means and the ideas of how to successfully present Christ to our community and to be able to identify and meet its needs in ways that are particular to us. There's no need for us to copy what other churches do. We have to grow as we are going to grow under the guidance of God. God won't ask us to do anything that is beyond us, but we must ask in spirit and truth for direction to steer this boat in the direction or directions that God has identified in his wisdom. Because as I've said before, and you will have heard me say it, this is not my church. Neither actually is it any of our individual churches. It is God's church to do with and direct as he sees fit. As he sees fit. We are God's body on earth, his Christ, and we do his bidding. Amen. And now I shall end with God's blessing. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you now and remain with you forever. Amen.